let us see anatomy of wrist. Mm -hmm. Here we can see the axial images of T1. So we see here, this is the distal ulna, and this is the distal radius, and then the carpal bones. If we go further, we can see the metacarpals. I can better appreciate these on the coronal images. So let us see the coronal images of the same. Yeah. So we see these are the carpal bones. This is the distal ulna radius, distal radio ulna joint. So then this is the so wrist is also a complex joint where we have multiple joints. So what are all the joints of the wrist? That is distal radio ulna joint, radio carpal joint, ulnocarpal joint, intercarpal joints. These are the intercarpal joints, and we can see the carpo metacarpal joints. So you can see here, these are the carpo metacarpal joints. This is the first meta metacarpal, second, third, fourth, and fifth metacarpal. So these are the carpo metacarpal joints. So this, these are the bones and joints at the wrist. So if we see what are all the structures we are going to see here now. So or we know the carpal bones, right? So I'm not going into the detail of that. So we can, so like scaphoid, lunate, okay. Then triquitrum. Then if we go further, yeah, this is the pisiform bone. We know that pisiform is also a sesamoid bone. Sesamoid bone is a bone which ossifies within the tendon. So in what tendon does pisiform ossify? Please comment down. So this is the pisiform. And then we have, Trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, and hamate. What is the what is the characteristic of hamate? We find hook of hamate. If this is this is the hook of hamate. So these are the carpal bones done. So and these carpal bones are forming joints with the metacarpals. These are the carpometacarpal joints. So on T1, we can better appreciate the anatomy. So that's the reason I have put this T1 section. So bones are better seen. So this is an ulnar stylet process here. Okay. Then let us go to the tendons of the wrist. So tendons of wrist, I want to show it on PDFS image axial. So if we go to the PDFS, I can see all that, but better I can better show you on this. So if you see here, I'll start with the extensor compartment. So if you see the extensor compartment here, yeah. This is the first compartment. This is the radial side towards the thumb. So if you see, this is the first compartment. So this is the first compartment. What are the tendons of first compartment of extensor and extensor, uh, first extensor compartment? That is abductor pollicis longus, extensor pollicis brevis. So these are the two tendons. Then second, this is the second one. What are the tendons here? So if you see, <coughs> Yeah, so if you see, this is the first one. So ab abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis tendon. Then we have, this is the second. What is this? The, what are these two tendons? Extensor carpi, radialis longus and brevis tendons. So what is this? This is the third. So third one is our extensor pollicis longus tendon. And then we have, this is the fourth compartment. Fourth compartment has extensor digitorum tendons and extensor indices. And this is the fifth one. So fifth one is extensor digiti minimi. That is the extensor digiti minimi for the little finger. So, and uh, what is this? This is our sixth. What is this sixth one? This is extensor carpi ulnaris tendon. So this is an extensor carpi ulnaris tendon. So, yeah. So if you see, these are the extensor tendons and this is our extensor retinaculum. Okay. Extensor tendon, extensor retinaculum, done, done. Then we go to the flexor compartment. What are the muscles we see in the flexor compartment? First one, this tendon is our flexor carpi radialis. Okay, then these, what are this? Flexor digitorum superficialis, flexor digitorum profundus, tendons. Then, 
what we have this is flexor rp flexor rp ulnaris tendon so see this flexor rp ulnaris tendon is going and giving attachment to the fusiform also fusiform ossifies within the tendon of flexor rp ulnaris so you can see these are the flexor tendons over here what is this tendon if you see see this is the this is flexor pollicis longus tendon okay flexor pollicis longus tendon these are our digitorum superficialis and brevis sorry profundus superficialis and profundus these are our uh, flexor tendons that is superficialis and profundus okay then what do you have what do you have again so this is the this is the carpal tunnel what you are saying is a carpal tunnel here so what are the contents of carpal tunnel carpal tunnel contains the flexor tendons and the what is this structure here oval shaped thing if i go and show here i'm going a bit proximally you can see this now this now is a median now okay this is a median now where is our ulnar now here is our ulnar now you can see ulnar now and ulnar vessels so this is ulnar now ulnar ulnar now runs in which canal what is that canal called that canal is called you see here this is the gans canal what is gans canal gans canal has a floor formed by the flexor retinaculum transverse carpal ligament then superficially a uh, uh, small fibers are given by this flexor retinaculum and uh, on towards the ulnar side we have the pc form bone towards the radial side towards the radial side we have the hook of hamet so this is a hook of hamet this is a gans canal towards the ulnar side we have the pc form bone so this is a gans canal so what is the importance ulnar now can get entrapped in the gans canal so what about the carpal tunnel carpal tunnel has the content as the median now so what do you have with the median now we have carpal tunnel syndrome what happens in carpal tunnel syndrome like there will be flex extensive flexor bowing of this flexor retinaculum flexor retinaculum is further shows flexor bowing then there is compression thinning flattening of the median now in the distal carpal tunnel so important structures i wanted to show this is a median now within the carpal tunnel and this is the ulna now within the gans canal ulna now within the gans canal other structures what i want to show today is uh, the triangular fibrocartilage complex i'm not covering the entire wrist anatomy i'm covering most of the structures within the wrist so if you see so if you see this structure sitting over here this is our triangular fibrocartilage complex so triangular fibrocartilage complex okay what are the parts of triangular fibrocartilage complex we have the disc proper this is the articular disc proper this is the articular disc proper and it gives multiple attachments so we have dorsal and ulnar radio ulnar ligaments so dorsal and ulnar this is the dorsal part this is the ulnar part of the radio ulnar ligament then we have attachments here like this is the foveal attachment of tfcc this is a fovea this is a fovea of the distal ulna this is a foveal attachment and then we have the styloid attachment of tfcc this is ulna styloid and it's ulna styloid attachment so styloid attachment of tfcc foveal attachment of styloid tfcc disc proper external dorsal and ulnar radio ulnar ligaments and then we have the tendon sheath of extensor 
carpi ulnaris. So tendon sheath of extensor carpi ulnaris here. And this structure, what we are seeing is meniscus homolog. Okay, this is a meniscus homolog and ulnar collateral ligament. Ulnar collateral ligament, tendon sheath of extensor carpi ulnaris, foveal attachment, styloid attachment, then disc proper, disc uh, dorsal radio ulnar and polar radio ulnar ligaments and other ligaments like ulnocarpal ligaments. So ulnocarpal ligaments, see this, this is one fiber which is going up. So ulnocarpal ligaments. So if you see what are all the structures which form the TFCC, that is the disc proper, dorsal and polar radio ulnar ligaments, then foveal attachment of TFCC, then stellar attachment of TFCC, then tendon sheath of extensor carpi ulnaris, ulnar collateral ligament, meniscus homolog, and ulnocarpal ligaments. So that is about triangular fibrocartilage complex. This is a triangular fibrocartilage complex. Okay. You are seeing it? Yeah. Let us try to look at the same. If we see here this, this structure, this is the TFCC. This is the TFCC disc proper. This, this entire thing is a TFCC, an axial image. So this is in short about the anatomy of a wrist.